Hey guys, it's me, Yusuf's Girl, and I'm back with another Shadow of the Tomb Raider playthrough. If you like it, you know what to do. After discovering a hidden cave and then a tomb, which I cannot enter yet because of missing gear, and looting whatever I could, we continue on the main storyline, or with the main storyline. I will try to keep a focus on that for at least until we have more gear and go on looting sprees just after that. We will see how that goes, because I get distracted quite easily with shiny things. <laughs> As for now, we continue looking for the pilot Miguel, who surprisingly survived, and Jonah, who is still missing. So here we go. By the way, finally this game has a photo mode here, just quickly showing it. So there's this camera type which allows you to move around. If you check, uh, switch it, then you can like do this. And of course there's the field of view. We can roll it to make the picture more dynamic. There's this override thing which can make the distance stuff switching it up. If you like that kind of stuff, of course we have the standard brightness, saturation, with the colors. We can also make things more bright with this. This, I guess, if you are like in the middle of uh, an explosion or something, then you can uh, make it disappear as well, if you like. We have the, fra uh, the set uh, color modes. And you can also tweak the intensity of those so that's that's a nice feature i think and you have the frames which are quite lame i think but better than nothing this looks more like an assassin's creed or the say for me even if the pattern is like mayan so these are the options Let's just go with this for now. Uh, you can add the logo finally. Uh, there are like different variations. I think the these subtitles are for the expansions for this game. But there's like the definitive edition one as well, which is a little bit strange for me, but okay. You can position it, it anywhere you want. And now you can toggle Lara on and off, the weapons as well. And you can finally, <clears throat> sorry, finally make her expressions look different as well. So, nice, <laughs> and she has nice poses as well. I'm like so happy about this because I'm, I'm really active with taking pictures from the games I play. So yeah, muscle intensity. It should be like on her arm, I think, so we can make her more muscular. If you can see that the difference here, not much, but whatever. Anyway, so you can now get all creative and stuff like that. And you can also participate in a contest. I don't know if this this is still alive or not, but I just put it off because I don't want to do that. Anyway, so this is so something that, that uh, make me 
so happy. So, yep. Let's. I'm gonna do this picture now that I showed it for you like this. You can hide the UI and just take the picture. Now we are ready. So yes, I'm I'm really happy with this feature. Finally, it was time. Okay, so let's get going. I will probably tell you over and over, but this game is so much prettier than the previous ones. I'm happy about it. Miguel? I don't like this. Miguel? Uh -oh. Where are you? Oh no. <sighs> Miguel? Miguel? Oh, was that the Jaguar? There's a lot of blood. Wow. This doesn't look good. I'm pretty sure we will have to... ...fight a beast at one point. Every part of the world seems to have its own mythical, forest-dwelling, bipedal creature. Around here, it's known as the Sisamite, the guardian of the forest. Described as large and ape-like, it's rumored to kill male humans on sight, but takes the females to its cave for mating purposes. Ugh. Anyway, so I figured out uh, in my previous video, I told you about that, how nice it is that you can, like, uh, watch these or read these stuff without Lara automatically uh, bringing up these um, things we collect. So you have a choice if you want to listen to it or not, or go go back to the menu and do it later. And um, I accidentally figured out that <clears throat> once she picks it up and I tap the uh, touchpad, then it brings up the uh, item that was just uh, picked up. So this is another shortcut. So if you don't want to go to the menu and search for it, then you can uh, direct uh, immediately uh, listen to it. So that's a nice touch as well. I don't like this. Miguel? We will have to fight something. It's too quiet. A lot of blood. Think he's dead. Oh, yep. The jaguar. That's scary. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. Jesus. Holy shit. Yep. Do we get something for that right away? Got to be careful here. We are going to be This is going to be a fight at one point. Whoa. Are they like leading us? the other one that's the guardian spirit No nor normal Jaguar. Holy, were they testing us? What the hell happened? Why is she always so dirty? That was different.
<laughs> okay, let's just healing myself up. It stayed with the usual button that you just uh, have to uh, press X as well this time. Not just the L1. Let's get everything we can. Cool. This was interesting. I mean, wow. I need all the stuff so this looting is allowed, okay? off from here right that was no that was where the jaguar fell off here the other thing uh, was where the jaguar was like coming from so that's <clears throat> their little passage That's part of the wreckage. Jonah! So, I would have been surprised if Miguel survived for much longer, to be honest. Look how much clearer and detailed the water got. Compared to the first game, this is like amazing. I love it. I'm not such a huge uh, Lara Croft fan, but I'm loving these games. Despite the little shortcomings here and there, they are very entertaining. I've got used to the linear stuff like you cannot really go explore the world uh, and climb everything which is uh, what I'm used to with playing so much Assassin's Creed and uh, recently Horizon Forbidden West I don't want to go that way yet or should I? Week. Is this where we are supposed to go? No, that's up there, the wreckage. Look, look at that. It's so beautiful. <gasps> There are like fish as well. I love it. Hey guys. The swimming mechanic is easier as well, I think. Like this. I think we might have to come this way later, or who knows. I'm not going to read those. <clears throat> I'd just like to explore a little bit, see where this leads, probably back. At least we know that right now. Or now. Okay, cool. 
HP turns faster as well. The plane! Jonah, are you there? Oh, yay! What's wrong with your arm? Uh, some sort of parasite. I'm uh. looking for some wormwood, but it doesn't grow around here. Let me see. <laughs> what are you doing? If we leave it in there, it'll only get worse. Sit. <sighs> At least disinfected. There's fire there. I'm sure you know what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> I had something similar happen to me when I was a child in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm from earlier was the storm? The one from the mural? I don't know. Uh, uh, I think maybe we should stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward, <laughs> flying into that storm. I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back. I mean, I get it. You lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears. <laughs> Jonah. I, I, I'm with you. It's my choice, most of the time. But if we die, who stops the cataclysms? Who keeps Trinity from doing what they want? Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone down. Maybe for the sake of a few hours, we could have turned back. <laughs> Maybe we should give him a name. Okay. Eli? No, my cousin. He's always trying to get under my skin. <laughs> Goodbye, Eli. Ugh. No bandaging it or something. Good girl. Thanks. We should go. If we can find Kowak Yaku, we can rest for the night. Sounds good. First looting. I think we can see the village through the vines over there. I'm glad you stayed at the crash site. Well, if you were out there, I wanted you to be able to find me. I had a flare gun. So. Yeah, I think Miguel was heading toward it when... Poor guy. How'd you manage to get Eli in your arm anyway? Uh, I was trying to figure out if the water was clean. I got my answer. <laughs> Again, swan dive. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Look at that. I love it. Ooh, there's something there. And I'm already getting distracted. See? That's what I was talking about. And sorry, we are going to make a photo. Here. Yeah. 
the colors are <clears throat> pretty enough that I don't think we need any of these. Nope. Okay. Let's put in the logo. Where to put it? Here, here it's good. And we don't need anything else here. I love it. There you go. Okay, so crash site. There's the survival cache I just found. I think there's stuff in there. But I said I was going to go with the main storyline. Do you really believe in all that, that stuff that you said about the cataclysms? Yep. The apocalypse? Yep. I believe yep. that if it is true, it's important enough to die for, or for Trinity to kill for. So this is really about revenge? No, no. I. When I took the key, I also felt a power pulling me towards something. It's real. Okay, you stop talking. When you took the key, is it in your head now? No, it left me when Dominguez took the key. If it's that strong, how can you be sure? Let's just find Kwakiaku, okay? Okay. You know, if it was about revenge, I'd understand. <laughs> Would you though? Wouldn't you rather be somewhere warm and dry with a beer, maybe a friendly stranger to flirt with? Yeah, I would, like you can imagine. But I'd still understand. It's not revenge. Okay, cool. We can get through here. Give me a hand. <laughs> you see that? It must be Kwak Yaku. We have to get down there. Is something. I'm paranoid <laughs> like that. <laughs> you sure this is a path? Come on, stay close to me. This is definitely not a path. I think it is. <sighs> oh. Oh. oh God. Almost there. Almost there. Heard that before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, gotcha. You right? I'm okay. Just a couple more steps. Okay. Okay. You're right. I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. What do you think built all this? It could have been the Inca. They knew a lot about hydraulics. I hope that this structure is here because we're on our way to that village. The bridge is down. Maybe we can lift it with those counterweights. Maybe. Ah, too late. Right. Now that this water is drinkable. <laughs> 
You want to try it? Uh, I think I'll stick with the bottles we found in the cargo from the plane. Hmm. Can't figure out the dialect. I must be missing something. You know, if I had known how much time I'd spend in the wilderness, I'd, I'd have paid more attention in Boy Scouts. <laughs> Wasn't your thing? Well, my family situation meant we There might be a release valve on top of the water tower. What about you? Were you? Ever do Girl Scouts or Nature Camp as a kid? Mm, does boarding school count? <laughs> I don't know. Does it? <laughs> Probably not. But Roth showed me some things. I always preferred the company of adults anyway. <sighs> yeah. I miss that guy. Me too. <sighs> this describes something nearby. Two serpents guard life and death. I lie trapped within their eternal struggle. Treasures from the past trophy, meanwhile. Cinnabar was used in the ancient past for producing a bright orange pigmentation on ceramics, murals, tattoos, and in religious ceremonies. With Eli gone, you there might be a release valve on top of the water tower. Yeah, 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 yeah. There might be a release valve on top of the water tower. Okay, I'm just exploring, okay? They knew a lot about hydraulics. Hope that this structure is the bridge is down. There might Maybe be a release valve on skyways. top of the water tower. Maybe. I bet this water is drinkable. <laughs> you want to try it? Uh, I think I'll stop. Too heavy. Give me a hand. <sighs> Nothing. Okay. Let's let it go. Slowly. <sighs> so this is the top of the water tower. Good there might help. be a release valve on top of the water tower. Hey, that did something. I think the water powers the bridge somehow. If we push the wheel, the counterweight will fill with water. Filling the bucket. Good. Let's see what those counterweights do. Ugh, the bucket's leaking. Come on back. We'll try again. We'll have to push the wheel up again. What am I I'll have to tether the bridge to the counterweight. I'm going to have to let it go. Hurry! I 
Okay. Aha. So that to that. Oh my god, this will need some timing. I supposed to do that no. holy shit this sucks we'll have to push the wheel up again I hate this. I hate timed stuff. what I wanted to do. Okay, Jonah, you can let go. That's it. Let's get across. I'm so clever. <laughs> Is anything else here? The monolith. Two serpents guard life and death. I lie trapped within their eternal struggle. Okay, I will come back and do that. I said we are going to focus on the main storyline. Guess we go through here. After you. What's that? I think it's some sort of stealer or... Help me with this. Sure. What is it? It's a recipe. Seems to be a mixture of herbs. It could help if we run into any more jaguars. <laughs> Let's hope we don't. Way out is over here. Hold L1, then tap triangle to use the perception herbal mixture. Perception allows Lara to sense animals and natural resources throughout the environment. I will take pictures when we're getting closer to the village. I can't wait to get back to civilization. I will take pictures when I'm not recording, or at least I would try to limit it. Oh wow. And 
how long does it this last? These are different from the ruins in Mexico. <laughs> Do your dad's notebook say anything about Peru? No. I mean, there is supposed to be a secret city of gold in Peru. Paititi. Every treasure hunter on Earth is looking for it. But dad's notes stop in Mexico. Like he lost interest or... Or? I don't know. The next volume picks up in Syria. Nice. A passageway. That's promising. Remind me how the riddle goes again. Chase the heart of the serpent. To the silver crowned mountain where the twins confer. Hmm. How far do you think it is to Kwakyaku? Assuming we're going the right way, um, hard to say. But the irrigation system is a good sign. Right. People were here at some point. Let's just hope they still are. found something. There might be a way in. If it's not civilization, I'll wait here by the fire. This is creepy. <clears throat> but beautiful. Oh, this is not the inmate three line. <laughs> Can we go up? No. No, just down. I'm paranoid since the Jaguar attack. The music isn't helping either. Oh yay! Okay, that's one. Well, let me just check the time. Ooh, I'm gonna run out. <sighs> Pull down. Uh. No! 
<clears throat> okay guys so i'm gonna do this and in the next one we will continue with the main storyline uh i promise i will like add tomb and uh, such side stuff as we go along and i have more confidence <laughs> i mean in the gameplay or i'm more familiar 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 with the game um, and i won't be so lame but this happens especially with new features Uh. No! Yeah! So yeah, <laughs> see you in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye and peace.